On November 29th, 2022, Nicola Jane Bully posted this on Facebook. A very cold walk this morning. Not a day to forget your gloves. Bit spooky too. Set me up for the day though. And Willow, her dog had the best time. What Nicola is referencing in the post would be a walk she took near enough every day after dropping her children off to the local primary school in St. Michael's on Wire. More specifically, a stretch of path that runs along the River Wye. Nicola, a mortgage broker, was a known face with the dog walkers in the area. According to a Strava account, it revealed that this journey would take her roughly 30 minutes to complete before heading off and enjoying her day. But in a saddening piece of foreshadowing, that spooky walk she took in November would have a darker meaning. And only a few weeks later, after walking that journey, she vanished into thin air. February 3rd, 2023 marks a week since her disappearance. And although police have today gave an explanation in regards to a theory they firmly believe as to what happened, not everyone believes that's the case. Let's take a deep dive into Nicola's disappearance then, and take a look into some theories as to what may happened. Just prior to 8.43am on January 27th, 2023, Nicola Bully dropped her children off at St. Michael's on Wire Church of England Primary School before starting her morning walk with her dog Willow along the River Wye. At around 8.50am, she was spotted walking around the lower field section by a dog walker that was known to her. It's said that the pair had a brief interaction as their dogs played with each other. Three minutes later, she sent an email to her boss However, the contents are unknown. And four minutes after that, she sent a text to a friend to arrange a play date for her children. At around 9.01am, as she continued to walk on her journey, she logged into a team call for work, but her camera was off and she remained muted while the conversation was ongoing. Nine minutes after logging in, Nicola had got as far as the upper field section, where she was once again spotted by another dog walker who was known to her. Although it isn't clear if the two interacted with each other. That, ladies and gentlemen, Gentlemen, was the last time anyone's seen her. Again, a week on, and she still hasn't been located. But the timeline of events haven't finished just yet. You see, between 10 past 9 and half past 9, Willow was spotted running loose without a harness on, but a specific location on where the dog had been running wasn't given. The unnamed person that found Willow raised the alarm, although it's unclear who was called. At around the same time, Nicola had still been logged into her work meeting. Surely then that meant she was present while Willow was running loose. Well, not exactly, because at around 9.35am, her phone was found at a bench by the river, along with Willow's harness. She was nowhere to be seen scene. The theory that's currently being circulated by police is that Nicola had somehow ended up in the river and the flow had taken her body. They hope to find her soon. Although many people agree that this theory is strong, there are other pieces of information that may point to something else happening. The reason police believe that she fell into the river is because that's what the current evidence points to. After checking CCTV from the exits, she wasn't spotted leaving the area by herself or with anyone else for that matter. However, there's no CCTV in the Garstang Lane area area of St. Michael's, which would mean if she left on her own accord or if someone else was involved, then that route could have been taken. Police say if they can obtain some footage from that area around the time she went missing, then her falling into the river is the most likely outcome. There is others though that do believe something has happened to Nicola. Why? Well, when Willow was found, the dog was, quote, bone dry, meaning the dog hadn't gone into the river. And Willow was also reportedly in a state of distress. So if Nicola did go near the water, why did she? Was it to help Willow out of potentially falling in? That area of the river was deep. There's signs around that say deep waters. Could she have fell in attempting to help Willow? Many say they don't believe so. Nicola's father is one of those who are not too keen on the current police theory. Nicola went missing in such an isolated area. Could this mean then that a third party was involved? With the phone in lead being left on the bench, could someone have followed her between the periods of when she was last spotted and where those items were located on the bench? Police are yet to give an account of that time period. If she did end up in the river and didn't go down the route where there was no CCTV, why isn't there any markings to show that someone would have fell or slipped in? What we can rule out for certain though is Nicola purposely wanting to harm herself. From arranging a play date to booking a spa break the 
the night before her disappearance. This all points to the fact that she had many more happy years to live with her family. Whatever has happened to Nicola, we can only hope that she's found safe and well. And again, I must stress that at this moment in time, the current theory is that she somehow ended up in the river and the police do hope that she's found within the next few days. I don't really have any anything to say other than what the family said yesterday. Um, my whole focus is my two girls, just staying as strong as I can for them. I'm scared that if I put any focus into anything else, it's going to take my, you know, focus off that. So I've got to be very careful. Just hoping to goodness that anything comes out from the interview yesterday, no matter how tiny. Uh, to say a massive thank you to the community, friends, for everything that that they're doing. It's absolutely incredible. I just can't believe that that we're a week on, and as yet, it seems like we're no further on. It just just seems it just seems absolutely impossible. Just, just like a dream. I just can't cannot get my head around. Any of it. I mean, you, you're left sort of trying to make sense of the, of the census, aren't you? It is just such a mystery. Yeah, it it is. There's just no every, every single scenario comes to a brick wall. Every single one of them. And then all we're doing is sitting there, going round and round and round, going through every scenario, and then go back to the fl the first scenario again, and do the whole thing again, and then. And it, it's just all day long, that's all we're doing. That's all we're doing. How are, how are you coping? It must be so difficult. Like you say, your focus is, is on the girls, and it, and it has to be. But yeah. it, it must be so difficult. I don't know how I'm coping. I, I, can't, I, I don't even want to actually think about that. It's just focus. It's just like I say, it's just about the girls. That's it. I'm there for them. Um, I, can't, I don't want to really elaborate on that. I just I don't want to take my eye off that. It must be heartwarming to see the, the public response, hundreds of people trying to help. It's amazing. It's, uh, it is. Right now, it's the only thing that we can take is, you know, that level of support is out of this world. Um, it gives us a, a great amount of comfort knowing that uh, that's going on. You don't have anything else, do we? Well, there's hope. There's, yeah, we're never ever going to lose the hope. Of course we're not. Uh, but, like, but right now, it is as though she has vanished into thin air, like, yeah, just, it, in, just insane. I just can't, it, if I'm being honest, it feels like I'm just stuck in a nightmare. We're going round and round in circles trying to piece together what could have possibly happened. And we've just got to keep such an open mind with everything because we just have no idea where she is. It's like she's just vanished into thin air. There's no evidence to point us in any direction. Obviously, my hope is that she's still out there. She's, something's happened and she's, I don't know, needed to take herself off for whatever reason. And we, we just want her home. We need to, we need her home. Her children need her home. It's just absolutely heartbreaking. Only for you, what's the last week been like as a, as a father? It's been very difficult. Um, as from last Friday morning to date, it's just been so painful. We're such a close-knit family. We talk to each other, all our, both our children, Louise and um, Nicola, and the children every day. There's not a day goes by without talking to them and this has just emptied our lives at the minute we just feel so empty um, you know we appreciate everything that everyone's doing to find her the police have been brilliant the local community has been outstanding and uh, it's just comforting from that point of view but at the end of the day we, we just we just want her back on that point, you know, the community spirit has been unbelievable in a very small village. How, how much has that helped you, knowing that people have come from oh. far and wide to help look for your daughter? Massive. It's been massive. We've really appreciated it. 
and everyone that's been involved doing the sweep search of the fields, etc. It's just given us hope that someone might find something mm. that could give us that little clue to what might have happened. We just need a le we just need something. We're nearly a week on tomorrow and we're just going around in circles. It's like some something's got to have been missed. There's there's got to be somebody must know something. Somebody must know. Somebody, people don't just vanish into thin air. There's got to be somebody that knows something. And all, all we are asking, no matter how small or big, if there's anything that you can remember that just doesn't seem right, then please reach out to the police. Please just get in touch and get my sister back. I was going to ask you that, Lou. What is it you want to say to people watching this, wherever they're sat, wherever they're watching from, on their phones, on the tellies? What do you want to say to people in order to, to help you? Well, just if anybody knows anything, just yeah. just let us know. Just, Nikki, if you're bloody out there, just let us know that you're OK. We can sort anything out. We can... We just want you home. We just want you home. Yeah, my, um, my approach to this is that um, for the public to search their minds or anything that they might have seen, doesn't matter how significant it is. If it's, to, if it's um, something that they think might not be interesting, it could be, uh, and inform the police that, um, that they've seen something. Um, but the main thing is that, um, you know, we want to find Nicola, get her back home. There's uh, two young children there waiting to, for their mummy to come back. And we feel that um, we want her back, obviously, also. But, you know, if Nicola is out there, if she is watching this, then all we'd like to say is just come home, contact the police, contact ourselves, and um, we just want you back. One thing on covering this story and speaking to people right at the very heart of it and everyone harks back to this is that there are two beautiful girls at home nikki's kids you know how, how difficult is that oh. knowing that the daughters are there without a mum it's just it's there obviously they their little minds are trying to process they don't really understand, none of us understand, to be honest. Um, but we've just got to try and... When there's children involved, you, you have to carry on. You've got to get through every day, and that's, that's all we're trying to do. But they know her mummy's missing. Um, but they, they know that she's going to be coming home. Um, and this is... Um, everyone's looking for her. So it's only a matter of time that they're thinking in their minds that she's going to walk through that door. What happened on Friday morning was it started off as what seemed to be Nikki's, you know, daily routine, really. Dropping the kids off at school, taking Willow for a walk. It all seemed quite normal. The, the, how do you feel that, about the fact that this has happened and, and it, it, it isn't Nikki, in a way, if you get what I mean? It's not mm. her... It's not n normal Nikki. No. What, what, what's happened? How does that make you feel? But we, don't it's, it's, we just haven't got any answers, have no, we? No, it's, just don't it's, know. she's done this a thousand times. Drops the children off from school. A beloved dog, Willow. She loves it to bits, that dog. She'd do anything for the animal. Um, she parks the car in the, in the school uh, car park, walks across the, past St Michael's Church, through that little lane, up to the open field, and that's where she does it every day, day in, day out. There may be days where she misses. But if it's not her, it's Paul. And it's, it all revolves around the point that they've dropped the children off at the school. Mm. But it's just routine. And, you know, it's, we're just baffled by it. Just baffled. The police, the police only have said that, you know, they're keeping an open mind about what's happened here. Is, is, that, is that easy to do? Is it difficult to keep an open mind, you know, when... The, you know, there's speculation and everything. How, how tough is that? Yeah, well, we're trying to be quite honest with you. We're trying not to 
getting too involved in what people are saying because nobody knows anything, do they? So, and that's what we really want to say today is don't get blindsided that it's, this has definitely happened or, you know, we need to keep an open mind. Could be anything because there's no evidence to point any other way and get my sister home. We'll just end on final note from, from you all. And how important is it that this message is out there, that people listen, that they give any information that they possibly can to help get your sister, to help get your daughter back home. How crucial is it right now? Well, it's... It's the only thing we're holding on to. We're holding on for this as um, not our last hope, but this is going to reach out to millions of people. And we're just hoping that from this interview that something may come of it which will spark a light and it will lead to us finding our daughter. How much are you missing now? Oh, don't. It's, 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 it's hard. It's, it's hard. We're such a, a close-knit family. We are. We are a close-knit family, I'm sorry. But we're such a close-knit family. We do anything for any one of us and the children would do the same for us. We're, we're getting on in life. And, you know, the grandchildren and our own children are more and more important to us as we're getting older. So, yeah, just hope she comes home.